This video and all the music in it is brought to you by Audioblocks, one of the largest stock libraries of royalty-free music, loops, and sound effects. Check out the link in the description to try it out for free for seven days, and stay tuned after the project for even more information. Today I'm gonna take everything down on my tool wall and build a better looking, more organized system to hold my various hand tools. So I put everything down on the bench here, all the tools, all the things that I would love to get up on this wall. Um, now some of these, or a lot of these, were already up on the wall, but were not organized in an ideal way. And then I've added a couple of things that I always wanted to put up there, but I couldn't quite fit. I don't want to just like throw everything up there, I want it to look really good and really organized. And I'm not really looking for French cleats, I have that up on that wall. And I find that you tend to really not move things around anyway. Um, so I just want to find permanent positions for various units that hold like the chisels, hold the planes, Hold the saws, that kind of thing. So I started with taking down all the tools, as well as the board which they were all hanging on. Then I put up rows of pine, which I whitewashed to get a light backdrop that still had some cool depth. And then I was all ready to begin. So I got some white oak uh, milled up for the shelf here. So this is the shelf. And I'm gonna have to screw this piece into the wall. There are some brackets. And this is gonna be a cap piece to make sure that they don't fall off the shelf. These are the planes that I want to fit on the shelf, so to maximize the space I'm going to add a back tier to create two rows where the back one is higher up. And here I have a couple of pieces of oak glued together for each block. To create the holder for the engineering squares, as well as a smaller tri-square and combination square, we cut out grooves on the table saw and then removed some material with the chisel. To ensure the squares sat in there well, I added some small neodymium magnets. This holder was a little tricky. I went through a couple of different ideas and configurations and I wanted to be able to hold a larger tenon saw behind the smaller saws, the cross cut rip and dovetail saws. And eventually I went with this rather simple idea of a few dowels at different positions to hold the saws in place.
So, two chisel holders here. I wanted to use heavy duty veg tanned leather for the pouch because it's nice and strong. So I dyed it and conditioned it for a darker color. Lately I've been using this water-based contact cement and yeah, I highly recommend it. It doesn't smell nearly as bad as the regular contact cement glue uh, and it seems to work just as well. So. Okay, so now all the different tool holders are down. Um, I've been shellacking them and finishing them and now they're all ready to go back up again and organize everything as nice as possible. the wall actually it fits quite a bit now so how many units are these we have one two three four five six seven eight so eight different tool holders for different things plus I wanted to make the leather toolbox which I built in a video a while back also fit into this space because that's also made with white oak and with leather handles and I just thought it fits into the space really well so it has like a slot where it fits in now there's a couple of things that I was thinking about when making this tool shelf. First of all, I wanted to be able to fit as many tools as nicely as possible on the wall. I wanted to use white oak. Um, I wanted a contrasting light background so it wouldn't get too woodsy. I wanted to use nice leather to kind of contrast that as well. And I wanted this all to look nice because I didn't want to only store tools. I also want to use this as a filming backdrop. So it kind of doubles as that, so it should look good and be organized. Now in the past on the tool wall, I didn't have any protection against the chisels. So sometimes when I was lifting something, you know, it was easy to kind of cut yourself a little bit. So this time I wanted to make sure that there was some, like something that held the chisels in. So you can't like cut yourself accidentally as you're lifting up to get something else. So I think these little like leather pouches worked out pretty well for that use. And then the same thing on the saw here. This had like a paper holder before and now with this leather, the same tooling leather that I dyed, um, it just like matches and it looks so much better. But the other thing here too is I was thinking about how to store the planes and of course I'm trying to be efficient with space and not have it take up too much space and that's when I thought that like making a tier where this is like higher up in the back might be nice because then you can utilize that space better. Plus then you get to see these and they're not hidden behind and like annoying to grab when you want them. Um, well, I guess that's about it. This was a really fun project to do. I've been waiting to do this for quite a while now. You know, as you kind of collect more things over time, you try to squeeze them in different places, and then eventually it's just one big mess. Uh, so it just was so nice to be able to just rethink everything, take all the tools down, and then like repositioning everything. 
I hope you guys like the music for this video. I always love finding music and integrating it into the videos in interesting ways, and this time I used audio blocks. Usually I just use the YouTube library, so to have a whole new library to look through and find stuff in was so much fun, and I'm putting a lot of different pieces in this video because, yeah, I couldn't help myself, so. <laughs> Audioblocks has one of the largest stock audio libraries with over 100,000 clips, loops, music, and sound effects. And all of these audio clips come with a royalty-free agreement, so you can't get hit with copyright claims. <coughs> and if you're editing videos, you know how cool this is, and if you want to check it out, you can get 7 days for free to try it out. Just go to audioblocks.com YouTube, or click the link in the description box below to start downloading and get access to this huge stock audio library, and get 7 days of audio blocks for free. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this project in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!